Hi, my name is Mary Poffinroth and I'm an adjunct professor of biology. And today, we're going to be talking about the discovery of cells. In 1655, English scientist Robert Hooke made an observation that would change biological research forever. While examining a dried piece of cork under a crude light microscope that he had created, he saw small chambers, and he named these chambers cells after the living quarters of monks. However, he was only able to observe the cell wall since dried cork is no longer a living cell. Within a decade, scientists had concluded that cells were actually not empty, like Hooke initially thought, but instead filled with a watery substance that we now call cytoplasm. Over the next 175 years, research would lead to the cell theory, first proposed by German botanist Matthias Schleiden and physiologist Theodor Schwann, and then fully refined by Virchow in 1858. Thanks for watching, and if you want to learn more about this subject, click on the link below. Or if you want to learn more biology, feel free to click on any of the links around me. And please, rate, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Or maybe, if you have ideas for more videos, send us an email at requests at mahalo.com. Thanks for learning.